Well, hey gang, Scott Kelby here, and we've got more Photoshop Buried Treasure. This one is a black and white conversion technique. We have a photo here from Lake Tahoe. We're going to convert it to black and white in the easiest way possible, and it actually looks surprisingly good. The reason why it's important to have good black and white techniques is because if you just go over here to image mode and choose grayscale, it gives you like the worst possible ugh, grayscale ever. Let's undo that. And instead, here's what we're going to do. Make sure black's your foreground color. Go over here to this little menu over here, the Adjustment Layer pop-up menu. Looks like a circle. It's half black, half white. Click and choose. Ready? Gradient Map. Dun, dun, dun. Choose it. You got a cool black and white image, but we're not done. But before we do the next part, which is really where the juice comes in, I want to invite you, while I have your rapt attention, I want to invite you to my other blog. So you're probably watching this on scottkelby.com or on YouTube. Go check out my Lightroom blog. It's called lightroomkillertips.com. invite you to check it out. Now, on with our story. So if you want to edit this, you notice there's a gradient down here. Click anywhere inside the gradient. It brings up the gradient editor, which you see right here. Now, there are little stops under the gradient. If you drag this one to the left, take a look. It's going to brighten your highlights, right? If you drag this one to the right, it's going to darken your shadows. This is already kind of dark in that area, so we're probably not going to do that. But if you want a little more control, click and add another stop here. It's not going to look good when you first add it, so don't freak out when you click. It's going to add a black stop, and it looks like, Ick. hey, looks like I need to do, clean my sensor a little. Yeah, maybe. All right. Double click inside that little house, that little stop, and choose a nice light gray. Let's get a good look in here. Now, if you go over this way, you're going to get tense, so stay over this way along this left edge and now you have not only do you have a movable midpoint here but the little diamonds in between change the relationship between the shadows and that stop that you just added same thing up here moves it there now one weird thing about this while you drag nothing happens doesn't happen until you release the mouse then it updates just to give you an idea but you can get a way better black and white doing this than you can a lot of other ways. It's very easy, it's visual, it's fun, it's good. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And if you get a second, go check out lightroomkillertips.com. Lots of stuff there. Oodles and oodles of tips and stuff just like this, but it's not for Photoshop, it's for Lightroom. So everything looks a little different. Not a lot different, some different. All right, guys, <laughs> thanks, we'll catch you next time.